Hey everybody, this is Six. So, you may have seen in one of my previous videos that I found a mod that allows you to place any tree you want in any biome. But, what I figured out is if you go into the config file of that mod, you can actually change the size of any tree. So as soon as I figured that out, I decided I need to make a giant oak tree, build a town in it, and live in it like a Keebler elf. Alright, all the mods are linked into the description. Let's go check it out. So first off, I have this basically just a big fancy portal that leads you up into the bottom floor of the whole town. Okay, so that portal just spits you out into this portal hub. It's got a pretty cool roof on it, but nothing too fancy in here. Looks pretty sweet on the outside though. So this whole village is basically connected to this giant oak tree with this huge spiraling staircase that goes all the way around it. And the first place it leads us to is this nice little house right here. I imagine this house is just for like some single guy who never gets enough Valheim even though he's playing Valheim he decides to play Valheim while he's playing Valheim. With his sweet triple monitor setup, got discord on one screen, Valheim in the center. Can't get any better than that, right? Big old cozy bed, nice little battle station, what more do you want? Oh, he's also got a really, really sweet spot for his cat to sleep up in the attic. <laughs> That's its scratching post. Lucky cat. Alright, so when you come out here, we have this uh, stairway that leads up to that um, little like gazebo thing over there. I call that the contemplation station. There's just like a chair. I'll, I'll save you some time. We don't need to go check that out. We'll just, we'll get to the good stuff. Okay, so over here we have, this has got to be one of the coolest buildings in this whole build. The Movie Harm Theater. Welcome everybody. So, we got the snack bar over here. We got the exits, clearly marked for legal reasons. And boosh, we got this big movie screen. I made that by pl placing signs and uh, using this mod that allows you to color the signs. That's linked in the description. And then just blacking out with big bars of, of like symbols. Over here I put other symbols. Oh, get out of my gate. Other symbols, you know, other colors. I, I basically just got creative mixing symbols by copy and pasting them and then using the mod to color them. And that allowed me to make a movie theater. That's also how I made that gaming set up downstairs. This guy over here, he's like the usher slash uh, wait, waiter or something. His name is uh, Stinky Nuts. Oh, we got these sweet couches using the beds. Really like that idea. Out over here, uh, we have the balcony. No smoking, obviously. The whole place is freaking made of wood. <clears throat> All right, so that's the theater. Those those shields up there look like uh, speakers. I just love this place. Okay. Anyways. Moving on. Over here we have the courtroom. The truth shall set you free. So yeah, this is where you go if you are caught committing crimes, you know, like um, throwing your garbage off the tree onto other people's houses. Or like, uh, I don't know, carving your name in the tree. Or spitting on the tree. Or basically any sort of tree crime. You'll come here and you'll be judged. And the cool thing is, there's a hole, <laughs> and if you are guilty, you get tossed in the hole and you're executed. Kind of like uh, that thing in Game of Thrones, remember that? You know what? Let's give it a try. Oh, psych! You don't die. It's a secret soda! <laughs> What's up, guys? And then outside of the sauna, we have... Just uh, that cool portal again. That was cool. All right, and so over here we have the the main crafting area. Uh, this place was difficult. In order to get the structural integrity up to the point where I could have these smelters and kilns and stuff in here, I had to use a ton of 
um, metal posts, metal post bobbies, whatever these are called. But you have basically everything you need in here. The benches are all leveled up. You see how I got all the stuff just crammed into the center there. You got storage. You have basically everything except for like a windmill in here. You even have a uh, cooking station and some fermenters. So that's cool. All right. Over here, this house is owned by some lovely couple who is on their honeymoon. That's why it's all like uh, hot and spicy in here. Yeah, this is a nice little house for two. Oh, yeah, the bees are not happy. The bees are cranky. They got snow on the on them. So this it gets so high in this tree uh tree house town, whatever you want to call this, that uh, it snows in some places. All right, so we'll take you up here to a nice little neighborhood. Oh my god, those verti those 45 degree stairs are awkward. All right, so these are just kind of normal little houses, you know, for the people. Got a cool fireplace. You may wonder how I get a fireplace way up here in a tree, and that's by, uh, I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, you can see it right there. By placing a um, stone foundation and locking it in place with some iron, iron beams. Over here we have like a little family house. I imagine. Big table. Nice little bunk bed set up right there. Storage underneath. I think that's funny. And uh, another bunk bed set up over there. And then the last house in this little neighborhood is kind of like a feasting hall. I imagine like one family lives here, but like all, all the families come here to eat and hang out. Pretty cool place. Alright, let's zoom down these stairs real fast. Okay, totally took some damage, but I have God Mode on, so I have God Mode on for that reason specifically. I died going down those stairs, and I did not want to do that in the video, so don't judge me. All right, anyways, this is a nice house for another nice family. We got the mom and the dad's bed over here. Dad's got his tuna wrap. Mom's got her sausages. Those are snacks, and for snack use only. This is where the kids sleep. They got a nice um, balcony. It's a really nice balcony. Looks out over the ocean. This is a nice house. A little sign above the door. Bless this mess. All right, and now we're heading up to another one of the coolest buildings in the land. And this is the bar, the inn, the bar inn, whatever you want to call it. I named it the Green Dragon because I pretty much name every bar the Green Dragon. I don't know why. I just like Lord of the Rings. Don't, don't make fun of me. There's a big serpent out there. We got the Elder over there watching out. Some tables. A nice bar. Um, a feasting table. Looking pretty good. But the best thing about this, besides this amazing fireplace, has got to be this idea. I've never seen anybody do this, and I used the mod that allows you to decorate signs into so that I can make the VIP section. And I used that light up sign thing to make track lighting. How cool is that, right? 100% my own idea. If anybody steals it, I will sue you. That is not a threat. Oh yeah, we got the benches. You can actually sit on these. Yeah, check it out, man. VIP. VIP section at the bar. For all those high rolling Vikings. Got two of them. I'm so proud of this, honestly. You steal my idea. Oh man, I'll be so cranky. Alright, and last but not least, we have basically just like the lookout up top. Nice little spot to come and Stare at the pixelated leaves. And then we got this portal, which leads us to our next build. When I haven't finished yet. Alright, well, I think I've shown you guys everything. Um, if you like the video, let me know. And if you want to see more, go ahead and hit the bell and 
throw me a sub. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so that's my giant treehouse village. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.